Hi everyone, welcome back to Jumpstart for Jesus. Hearing the word of God brings faith and faith brings fruitfulness. Join us for a life transforming church service in Basilia Fellowship at King's Banquet Hall behind Grace Church Margaon every Sunday from 9 to 10:45 a.m. morning. Come and you will be blessed in Jesus Christ and you will never be the same again. God bless you. And today I want to speak a few words. Uh, topic is today's is marriage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There will be things that will surprise you. Uh, what God is talking about marriage and there will be things that you will say is this really there in the Bible? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise Thank God. you Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. Okay, praise God. So, I was searching the internet. You know, I was searching the internet. Okay, internet I I Google search money. What is the definition of marriage? What is the definition of marriage? Hey church, talk to me. Any two people? No, me and me. Hallelujah. Okay, a few years back, if we had to search the Google, it is to come that a male and a female coming together in union to live their personal life together. A commitment that is made. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. But today, few days back or yesterday, I was searching the Google for the definition of marriage. And the definition of marriage has changed, you know, and it's surprising. It's not surprising because we have been going through the same things and we see the changes. changes already related to marriage. Hallelujah. And the definition according to the dictionary Google, okay, is a legal or formally recognized union of two persons as partners in the personal relationship and then it says something amazing historically the union between male, man and woman hallelujah a legal recognized union between two person as partners अनेक मुट्ठा historically मुझे आज ले कारण और संबोध अस्ताल और दादले आने बाईले में दे मुझे आतांचा कारण ते भी काजारा सा ओट अनेक meaning change केला the world have changed the meaning of marriage and it says according to some societies some customs such as same-sex marriages, open marriages, lesbian marriages, homosexual marriages and gay marriages are also called as marriages. So which means the world is confused about what is marriage today. Hallelujah. Praise God. But are you confused? Touch your neighbor and ask, are you confused about marriage? <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, we are Bible believing Christians, and according to the Bible, the marriage is between As man, man and a woman. woman. We have been studying this for last two three weeks. Marriage is between a man and a woman. We saw it in uh, Matthew 19, verse 4 4 to 6. Okay, we'll just put it up. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, if we read, we see that in 4, it is says, And he said, he answered and said unto them, Have all of you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them? Made them? Yes. Male and yes. female. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then it says, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife 
and they too shall become one, one flesh. flesh. Wherefore they are no more two, but one, one flesh. flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let men not separate or put asunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. So according to the Bible, the marriage is between male and female. Yes. Hallelujah. There cannot be a marriage between male and male, female and female, male and animal, male and plants, male and spirits or vice versa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Although there are things that are happening in the realms that are against the word of God about marriages. You know, there are people uh, in the spiritual realm, there are spirits that come in dreams and get married to people, to women, to men. Hallelujah. I am already manifest that I am already manifest येता अनिकते बायलां कोडे दादल्यां कोडे काजार जाता स्वप्नन हालेलुया जायते पावटी इवन ओत्मिक रेल मार्क तांची बुर्गी पासो नास्ता हालेलुया एंड इफ वी सी दैट इट इज डेंजरस बिकॉज़ व्हेन यू गेट मैरिड टू एनी अदर थिंग वेदर इन ड्रीम और बाय सम रिचुअल यू आर कनेक्टिंग योरसेल्फ to that thing, to that spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jenna to Zao Sopnak or Kesslet's Riti Rivaj Korun. Kuinche Otmia Kore to Ekwot Kota. Kuinche Zara Kore, Zonwara Kore to Ekwot Kota. Zalar, Tuzo to Ekwot, Zalo Muntos, Tujani, Tuja Gova Kore, Tuja Baile Kore, Ekwot Kurung, Zainam. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you connect yourself with the spirits or plants or animals in the spiritual realm through dreams or through some rituals, you cannot come together with your husband, with your wife. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is very important. Zori Torto Sopnan Konacha Barabur Sombon Zutta. जरूरी तो सपना नहीं कि ते कोता वाइट जलेर इट विल इफेक्ट योर मैरिड लाइफ हालेलुया प्रेस गॉड बिकॉज़ देर आर दिस स्पिरिट्स हु कम इन ड्रीम्स एंड गेट मैरिड टू मेन एंड वुमन एंड व्हेन दिस थिंग हैपेंस दोस स्पिरिट्स टेक कंट्रोल ऑफ़ द मेन एंड वुमन एंड दे डोंट अलाउ देम to unite together with their husbands and wives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise so God. then there is confusion. There is problem. So today, if you have such dreams where someone else comes into your dreams, you have to break those dreams. Cancel that agreements. Because that will not allow your married life to prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So very important that you have to break those relationships which you have spiritually. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise so Bible says a marriage is between male and female. In the beginning God created male and female. female. He did not create male and male. Devaktor Kazari Sambun Dadle Ani Dadle Madhe Zayo Aslo Dala Dev Dog Zan Dadle Rochtalo Aslo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who devan ek dadlo anik bail rosli kita devacha pormone kazar foko dadlo anik baile mode zaun zata. If God wanted male and male marriages or female and female marriages, God would have created two males or two females. But God created male and a female because the marriage has to be between a male and a Female. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Okay. So, then what Bible says is in verse 6. Let's read verse 6. Wherefore, let's read together. Wherefore, they are no more two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, 
Let not man put asunder. Hallelujah. What Bible says is when a husband and wife comes together, they become one flesh. They become one in the realm of the spirit. So if you join yourself to anything else, you will become one with that person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will become one with that spirit. Hallelujah. Zorui to tu ani konacha barabor o sombon zotta. Hallelujah. Zalya tu tya monsha barabor ek zata. Ani tu tuja gawa barabor baile barabor ek zaung pauna. Hallelujah. Because Bible says you become one flesh. Hallelujah. Praise God. And then Bible says that there will be people. The marriage can be separated by men. There is an enemy who is fighting against the marriages. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, God. Praise God. Because which is the first relationship? Poili Soirigot Devan Rosloliti Kuichi. Adamanik. Hallelujah. Before Eve, there was another relationship that God created. That was between God and Man, Hallelujah, praise God. Jadna Adama Krozlo, Tedna Poiti Tane Soirigo Kelly Muntati Munis Ani Deva Modem. Hallelujah. That was the first relationship. So always we must have in our mind Amcha Monat Sodons Asong Zai Ki Amchi Poili Soirigo Tasati Deva Kore. Hallelujah. The stronger your relationship with God. The stronger will be every other relationship in your life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jitli Deva Kore to the Sombod Gold Asta. Titlos Air Sobla to the Soirigeto Gold Zata. Hallelujah. Praise God. And then came the second relationship where God created Ev. Hallelujah. So Devan Poili Soirigot Muntati Deva Kore and Dusri Soirigot Muntati Adamanik Eve Kore. So first God instituted the relationship between man and God. The very next relationship that God has in his heart and mind is the relationship between man and a woman. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Goa ani baile mode relationship. So God respects the marriage relationship very highly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kazani sombot zo asa. Dio teka wola molato. Taka lekta. Hallelujah. It is very high in the sight of God because marriage is a foundation of the family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Kaza to Zaina Zala Famil Zaina. So marriage relationship is a very important relationship. Hallelujah. And Jenna Ami Kaza Zata. Kikla or Sankla on Kaza Zata. Hey church, talk to me. Pants or Sam, Dow or Sam, Pondra or Sam. Hallelujah. <laughs> we marry for life. Bible says, let's go to uh, Romans 7 verse 2. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, sometimes we do, even today in the world, we do something called as contract marriages. Kotai contract marriages. Aikela? Aikela, no? So, Romans 7. Romans 7 verse 2. Okay, so there are contract marriages also which are done, but God does not recognize them. Hallelujah. Praise God. Until 1875, only the church was allowed to do marriages. Until 1875, only the church was allowed to do marriages. Only in 1875, Something that started was civil marriage. Kila Dhanani Kela. Kela, no? Everybody has to do. Now, in today's time, everybody has to do civil marriage. 
before getting married but before 1875 there was nothing called as civil marriage the marriage had to be done in the church because the church was the one who was approving the marriage hallelujah hallelujah but since the confusion of the definition of marriage came the church started rejecting कोले नो जेदना ये मैरिज ही भीतर कंफ्यूजन एले की चेरो चेरो काजा जपाचे चेरो चोरु काजा जपाचे चोरु चोरु काजा जपाचे जेदना ये कंफ्यूजन एले तेदना गवर्नमेंट आन मळपाक लागलो की तुम्ही तुमची चर्च सोडा आणि आमचे बोगले ने या आम्ही तुमका काजारी मुन रेकॉग्नाइज करता हालेलुया एंड दैट वाज द टाइम व्हेन द सिविल मैरिजेस केम इनटू एक्झिस्टेंस Hallelujah, Hallelujah praise God Hallelujah. and from that time the civil marriages came to existence from that time came the confusion in marriages Hallelujah, Hallelujah. praise God now what bible says let's read together in Romans 7 verse 2 for the woman, the woman which has, has which has a husband, husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he lives but if the husband be dead she is loose from the law of her husband. Hallelujah. Praise God. A woman is bound by the law. This is not the civil law. This is the law of God. Hallelujah. So a woman is bound by the law to remain married with the same person until the person is dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whether a man or a woman you have to be married to one person there is nothing called as polygamy or polyandry polygamy which am zaito bailo asta bible a parmane eka timer tujani char panch bailo asong asong zaina zaina one man one wife hallelujah praise god one one woman one husband hallelujah praise god you know adle this adle kalak ami poile dalan solomon had many wives even some religion allows many wives but according to the bible one man has to have one wife hallelujah praise god so you have to be married for your lifetime hallelujah praise god i will come to matthew 19 later on again but we have to remember then verse 3 says so then if while the husband lives she be married to another man she shall be called an adulteress, adulteress. but if her husband is dead she is free from that law so that she is no adulteress though she be married to another man Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise I will God. come to this later, but first thing that we have to know is you are married for life. Sometimes we say, uh, till death do us apart. Hallelujah. I mean, Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 7:2. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman has, have her own husband. Let every man have another person's wife. Oh, <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> and the woman have another person's husband. No. no. It says, husband. every woman have his own, own wife. wife. Not another man's wife. Hallelujah. You must have your own wife. You must have your own husband. You cannot have two husbands. You cannot have another uh, another wife's husband as your husband. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When John the Baptist was telling Herod that you cannot have your brother Philip's wife. He was she was getting so upset. That she caught him and put John the Baptist in the prison. Amchani Hogot Ekla Dadlach and Eklis Bail Asong Zata. 
हालेलुया आणि जेव्हा जॉन द बॅप्टिस्ट हेरोडाक सांगतालो की तुवे तुजे भावाचे बायलेक घेऊक जायना म्हण त्यांना हेरोद रागान बोललो आणि त्याने किती केले जॉन द बॅप्टिस्टचा कालो आणि झेलिंग घातलो Hallelujah praise God so according to the bible every man must have one wife not two wives hallelujah praise God and every uh, husband every wife must have one husband one husband hallelujah praise God okay then we come to Matthew 19 verse 9 can you divorce can you divorce your husband no Hallelujah praise god let's see if we can divorce praise god thank you jesus ek time aslo lo jena hau chintalo ki adle old testament ang tenchane itlo bailo gepak jata hallelujah praise god thank you jesus but that was not according to the law you know they were allowed god never said anything to them but in the new testament god is saying jesus is confirming the law hallelujah in the old testament god never said anything but in the new testament god is specific because old testament and the law jo aslo lo to kaidya parmane jiyatalo ani devan ek ek kaido barik sanin burong na पवित्रपणीगत आसा देवाक सोयरीगत आसोक ना तंका देवाक सोयरीगत दौरतलो पादरी कड़चान वो पड़ता in the old testament they had to go through the priest but in the new testament we are directly connected with god hallelujah dewa bole taje petuya praise god so we can directly stand before god praise god hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah okay let's read together what it says and i say unto you whosoever shall put away his wife Except it be, except it be for fornication, and, and shall, shall marry another, commits adultery, and, and whoso marries her which is, which is put, put away, away does, does commit adultery. What it says, whoever shall put away his wife, except for fornication. Hallelujah. For God, a good condition ang tu jan tu je bai lek sorung zada. जरूरी तर ती बायल दुसऱ्या दादल्या बाराबर वयता जाल्या इफ युअर वाईफ युअर हजबंड इज स्लिपिंग विथ एनादर मॅन एनादर वुमन देन यू कॅन गिव्ह डिवोर्स हालेलुया प्रेज गॉड बट एक्सेप्ट फॉर दॅट कंडिशन देर इज नो अदर कंडिशन वे यू कॅन गिव्ह डिवोर्स हालेलुया प्रेज गॉड अँड दॅट बायबल सेज इफ एनी मॅन is going uh, sleeping with many women then no other woman shall marry him or if a woman is going with many men then no man should marry her hallelujah hallelujah praise god praise god which means god is saying once married is married forever yes. hallelujah yes. until yes. the death do apart hallelujah praise, praise god thank you jesus and then bible says let's go further so divorce is there only on one condition there is another condition that is applied for those who become believers after they are married hallelujah let's go to oh, 1 corinthians 7:10 okay then it says but if the unbelieving departs let him depart a brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases but god has called us to peace what it says here is that if the unbelieving husband is there or a unbelieving wife is there and they don't want to stay together kore no ek on bavarti bail asa ani ti tichyo go bavarti asa ani ti on bavarti bail asa ti manta ki maka tujya barabar raavang naka 
जाल्यार गोवाच्यान तिका स्वरूप जाता हालेलुया एक बावार्थी बायल आसा आणि ओन बावार्थी घोव आसा आणि ओन बावार्थी घोव म्हणटा म्हाका तुझ्या बाराबर रावंक नाका जाल्यार तांच्यांनी स्वरूप जाता पूण ती तर बाराबर रावंक सोदता जाल्यार तेमी जाता तितले शांतीन रावपाचे आणि बाराबर रावपाचे कित्याक ते काजारी जिविता वरवी देवाक मोहिमा हाडूंक हाले लुया आणि तांची भुरगी पवित्रपणान वाडोंक हाले लुया फ्रेंड सो मॅरेज इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट पार्ट ऑफ गॉड्स क्रिएशन इट इज नॉट मॅन हु इन्स्टिट्यूटेड द मॅरेज बट इट इज God who instituted the marriage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. Okay. So today, let's focus on our married life to make it stronger. Because the moment your married life is stronger, everything, other things fall in place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. Let's come together with our husband. If you all have anything where you are connected with in your dreams or with your रिच्युअल्स जायते जायते धर्म आसा ज्या धर्मांनी त्या झाडां कळे जनवाकरां कळे पासून काजार जाता ओके बाय द रिच्युअल्स बट इफ देर इज एनिथिंग दॅट हॅज हिंडर युअर लाईफ युअर मॅरिड लाईफ देन टुडे यू इट्स अ टाईम वेर यू हॅव टू कॅन्सल इट यू हॅव टू ब्रेक इट अँड यू हॅव टू कम टुगेदर विथ युअर हजबंड टुगेदर विथ युअर वाईफ सो दॅट यू गेट blessed hallelujah and your family will be blessed your children will be blessed and your life will be blessed so today is a special specially we pray that husband and wife come together and that their relationship with any other thing that is not of god be broken and destroyed hallelujah because god wants every marriage to be strong they have to become one and when they are one the blessings of god flow in their life hallelujah jenna go ani by ek zata ani ek barabar vaulta ki family che besao asta ani deva che besao ani ti family bolta zoni to tujya jivitan kitens asa je tuka tujya gawacha barabar tujya baile cha barabar एकटाय जाना आता आम मगण करूया आणि त्या मागण्या वरवी ते सगळे आम्ही कातरून उडूया कित्याक जायते फावटी सैतान आमका आमचे घोव बायलां मध्ये एकटाय जाऊन दिना कित्याक ताका नाका आमची फामील बेसावांनी भरलेली हाले लुया फ्रेश गॉड सो ऑलवेज आय से वन मोर थिंग हजबंड अँड वाईफ मास्ट कम टुगेदर इन प्रेयर always every day come together in prayer oh, no matter what situation no matter what problems even if your husband is far away make it a point to come together in prayer hallelujah whether on phone whether you are at home whether he is at workplace come together and pray together so that that union between husband wife and god remains united and intact hallelujah Amen. praise god let's praise stand god thanks for watching do subscribe to my channel and share the link with friends and family god bless you